Hey everybody, it's your boy Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 3 of Spyro Year of the Dragon. So, hopefully I got the pop filter thing fixed because I found a cheap way to make it and I'm using a sock. So, without further ado, let's talk to Moneybags. Getting paid a fortune to keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> the pesky animal must have been causing a lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. I suppose I could accidentally let the kangaroo escape if you were to pay me, say, a small fee? Mmm, anything to get someone to kick your ass? Sure, 300 gems. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind-hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. Before I say anything, guys, I apologize. I thought it was five, 500 gems. It turns out it was only 300. Whoops. No hard feelings. Totally the title of this episode. Definitely not going to be the thumbnail, though. That looks bad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> Can you be one of them dragons then? Yeah, name's Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. Huh, so dragons used to live here in the uh, Forgotten Realms. I love how the Forgotten Realms, though, are probably the best looking realms in the entire game. I'm not gonna lie, I think they look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Anyways, let's start our second level, Sheila's Alp. I always thought it was Sheila's Alps, but it's Sheila's Alp. Because she lives on one Alp. She doesn't live on multiple Alps. Because Alps are a chain, while Alp is just singular, you know? Thanks again, Spyro. Now I have to find out what that nasty sorceress has done to my home while I was locked up. Well, sounds like a plan. Now, this game is interesting because not only do you get to play as Sparks... Hiya, Sheila. While you are gone, a bunch of Rhinox kicked us out of our houses. It's okay, though. Bobby, Pete, and I are working on a clever plan to take some back. I was gonna say, you not only get to play as Sparks for the first time, you also get to play as these new animal buddies. So she functions just like Spiral, but instead of charging, she has that. Uh, Circle also does the same thing. She can double jump, and then if you press triangle, she can also do that. Uh, the cameras still move the same way, and that's literally about it. Oh, also, we gotta check our totals. All animal buddy stages, or I guess like companion stages, have three eggs. Only three. But the same amount of gems as the rest of the world. And so Sheila's help has helped Bobby get home, and then help Pete get home, and help that other guy get home. You know, the guy that we were just talking to. Yeah, and if you talk to him, he'll tell you how to use the controls. We really don't need him to tell us what to do. Oh, and also, if you jump while... As soon as you touch the ground, you get a really high jump. This used to make me dizzy as a kid. It still kind of does. It's like I'm actually jumping really high. Well, that was a cool touch, you know? Okay, no, no, no hidden gems over here. Nope. This music is used a lot in this game, so you expect to hear the soundtrack a lot. I almost think this is always used as Sheila, too, like any Sheila level. Uh oh, our first 25. I also forgot to go over in... You can get up. No, leave me alone. I can also... I forgot to tell you guys what the gem totals were. Red gems are worth 1, green gems are worth 2, blue gems are worth 5, gold gems are worth 10, purple gems are worth 25. There are no higher or no lower than that. Like, there's no, like, 0.5 gem or anything like that, so don't worry about it. Lots of high-dollar gems around here, my friends. I wonder if I can get up onto his house and just cause havoc. Nope. Ah, uh, home at last. Here, our savings is to make an omelette, but I think you deserve it more. 
Well, good thing we got it got it from him before he cooked it. Ruby didn't want to be an omelet. Are you going to be red? Ruby's not red at all. Bullshit. Now, the next level after this is going to be a little bit of a lengthy one, but it's going to be a good level nonetheless. And I believe, yeah, there's a secret up here. Are those like bulls or yaks? I'm not really sure what they're supposed to be, but ooh, more money. Money, money, money. So how are the Americans uh, appreciating Trump as uh, president? Can't be doing any worse than Trudeau right now. I know he's still planning to build the wall, but it's better than what Trudeau is doing and allowing a bunch of terrorists into our country. Even paying to get some of them out. That's the worst part about it. Ah, secret goodies. Ah, I must destroy these rocks because they also have money. Yeah, so you get, you get used to her, you know, moves and stuff in this level. All this money is mine, fools. And I hate watching Let's Players play this game for the first time, just simply because they don't know the order you should do things in because there is a quicker way to deal with things. Like, most of the time people don't go to Sheila before they go to Sunny Villa because Sunny Villa shows up as the first level and yada yada yada. I'll go free that guy here in a second. I'm going on a gem hunting mission. Oh, he has some more gems there. First, let's destroy that. And now let's get her egg. Hey, Sheila, let's play a joke. Take this egg and smash it on Billy's house, okay? I need to get him back for the last time he butted me off the cliff. Man, you guys butt each other off the cliff? That's just evil. Hey, Jenny. 8675309. Ew. No one's gonna be calling you Jenny. Why was she doing the chicken dance? Now, for these mushroom houses that you see, what you actually want to do is you don't want to kill the enemies until you destroy all the houses. And what you have to do is you just have to ground pound. Or I guess like head bash, but in this case she she stomps it, so... I guess like, stomp? Whoa, almost got hit there by that enemy. Oh yeah, now we can just kill them off, because those houses actually respawn these guys like they're some weird Rhinox Smurfs. No one likes a Rhinox Smurf. Oh. Hey, blue for the boobies. I like blue for the boobies. They're actually a very pretty bird. This level definitely takes less than 10 minutes. It's actually a fairly short level. Ah! Hey, you! Get your ass over here. Boom! Well, we also went through all the dialogue and stuff, so you, so you know. Would've took less time if we didn't do the dialogue. But that's just who we are. We wanna play a full Let's Play of this game. We don't wanna skip out on anything. Oh, some of the gems fell to their doom. Pretty sure one fell over here, right? Nope. So before I get all the... Before I get the final egg, I like to go and collect the, uh... All the gems. And what she'll do is she'll, like... You can check your atlas, I believe, for your total. I already told you guys, hey, just push the select button. Upsie daisy we go. Poundy poundy. Oh, a lot of small gems, apparently. Man, after this, I'll eventually play Spiral 1, but not for a bit. I wasn't actually planning on playing this game at the current time. This is just more of a pop filter test. Oh, man, nuggets. How the hell did I leave them behind again? This game is going to be doing this to me again this time, isn't it? I always leave behind a 5 somewhere. Man, I wanted to get another uh, another level done in this episode. Oh, never mind. I figured out where it is. Yes, I know. I see it. It's right here. Thank you! We didn't actually have to backtrack. Woohoo! Well, unless you call that backtracking. Thanks for the help, Sheila. You can have this egg I found in my house. Food in my house. Thank you for the final egg, Nan. They're all girls. All three of them are girls. Huh. A lot of female dragons. Anyways, let's leave. Oh, the second warning. Ooh, 
Ooh, look out, Hunter. It's the scary sorceress. I've warned you already. This place isn't safe for small dragons and pussycats. Thanks, but I think we can look after ourselves. Try looking after this! when you finish witch school, okay? Say, is it just me? Or is she kind of cute when she's angry? Hunter, cheetahs don't date cats. Or, cheetahs don't date rabbits. Get that thought out of your head right now, sir. Yeah, you'll see those little cutscenes throughout the game, actually. And not just when you go to a new world, either. That's the, that's the cool thing about this game. It's a little bit different. Anyways, looks like we have our next level to go to, Sunnyvale, and we didn't get to see all the gems we got. We're currently at 700. This level will once again have 6 eggs and 400 gems. This game doesn't have any cutscenes when you come into it, though. Now, this level also introduces you to a few new concepts. At least one new concept in particular. These enemies are your typical first level enemies that don't do anything to you, because guess what? They're pussies and they don't even have attacks. They can't even smack you with their shield or even touching them will hurt you, you know? I love when they die though, they go like crump. Crump. Yeah. The guys here are just like random with their little tidbits of information. They're kinda useless and uh useless people too. Aw, are you getting chased around up here, dude, by these guys? And I can de can't deal with them yourself. We show those two bullies. If they hadn't outnumbered me two to one, I'd have finished them off ages ago. Dude, you didn't do anything. You're useless. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Oh, hey, let me guess. You're gonna tell me that enemy's too big? Is... Yep, just push circle. Same with it, it's like the reverse of the whole charging the shielded enemies thing. So, just just heed that advice. Aw, oh, they only gave me small gems too, bull. Oh hey, a free egg. Vanessa. Vanessa Carlton. Nice little backflip you got there. Everyone likes to do a backflip. I, I can't do a backflip worth a damn. Oh my god, one red gem. Let me flame that tree. Burn it to ashes. I think I'm actually going to start God of War Origins pretty soon, too. Crap. Crap. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Death to the Chubster! Okay, now is where we can actually go and do some things. So first of all... Let's go get another egg before we actually do the spot that I want to do. So let's go up here. And just glide over to these pillars. These nice Roman pillars. I'm assuming this is where like the rich people of this world live. That's where the portal's still open. They just pay for it to be open. You know, villas are expensive. Miles! Miles Moran! No, no one likes Miles Moran. God damn, worst Spider-Man ever. Blech. I do want to play Edge of Time sometime, but every time I let's play that, I end up getting rid of it. But so now, sad part is, is you actually have to go up here twice. Next time is for an egg, again, but in a different sense. One that's a little, you know, more progressive, not just fly over and get it. So hopefully, the whole pop filter thing here is fixed. I made a custom one using a sock because we got a bag full of socks from my girlfriend's sister's dad. So, yeah. Anyways, we need Sheila to come in here. So let's see what's up. Hey, Spyro, there are Rhinox everywhere. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of the tower. Oh yeah, let's see if we can. I'm always up for a climb. Alas, I have a loss to my love. Guarded by evil Rhinox at the top of yonder tower. Can you rescue her for me? Um. Okay. 
Is, is your girlfriend's name gonna be Polo, Marco? <laughs> oh, I missed the gem of it. Now, these enemies are actually quite tough for Sheila to take on. Now, I do know for a fact that I missed the gem up here. Yeah, this this is the part of the level where it's actually easy to miss gems, so just, just be on the lookout for all the gems. And I did not actually mean to do that. I thought I timed it better, but whatever. And then, for some reason, it wouldn't jump up. Money! Oh, it's, it looks like Christmas in here. Christmas in January. I know it's supposed to be Christmas in July, but mm, no, not Christmas in July. I'm honestly not looking forward to summer because it makes my recording a lot harder because where we live is ridiculously hot during the summer. And not just because of the heat, I mean because of like the whole apartment building just sucking. Hopefully we have a fan by then. But yeah, I'm gonna have some epic summer games for you guys, like some sports games, some, like, water games, some games that just fit holidays, like, expect to see Christmas games around Christmas time, and it's gonna just be great. Oh, this is the spot that always got me as a kid. Now, I believe, where is it? I don't think it's this spot, per se. Which spot is it? No. I think we missed it. Yeah, we did miss it. It always tricks you because if you jump back up here and then double or high jump up here, for some reason I slid off, you have a secret passageway. Yeah, a secret passageway they can actually die in. But here's where a lot of gems are. Do these gems get bigger and worth it? Nope. A lot of small gems in the Sheila part. Uh, oh, finally a five. And see what I mean? It's the Sheila music again. There are a few spiral levels that take the same soundtrack, and it does get a little old. I feel like this game could have used a few more soundtracks. A very good game, and I highly recommend it to anyone who hasn't played it, or even if you have played it, to play it again. But, I will admit that a few of these, the soundtracks do get stale. And it's just, I don't know, it's, that's the one disappointing feature I have about this game. Now we must climb the tower in search of this man's lost love. And continuing up the tower we go. Not much else to say while we go up. Man, rebound! It's like we're playing basketball up in here. Would you guys ever like to see a basketball game? Like, I don't know, I'm not good at them, but would you guys like to see them? I'm up for suggestions. Oh. Hello, you Roman Centurions. Just don't fall off the tower and die or anything stupid like that. You don't get a lot of movement while you're high jumping, though, just to let you guys know, so be careful with that. Gotta collect all of the gems and talk to what? Rapunzel. Sent you here. I've got a restraining order against him. Ah, restraining order, dude. She doesn't want any of you. Hey, Lucy Lou, how you doing? <laughs> Fucker, you're not loved by this bitch. She doesn't love you, man. No, oh, poor guy. Woohoo! Yeah, I fall into my death. You just feel like your stomach go. Yeah, now let's get back to the spiral part, dude. This has been a lot of Sheila. We don't want Sheila anymore, man. Good thing the load times in this game aren't that long, so I probably won't have to cut them out anytime soon. Oh. Good thing I also came down here. Apparently there were... Oh. The save feature. Yeah, you're in multiple levels, by the way. We've already seen you. Good thing we came back down here, though. We would have missed a 10. It's probably, like, the biggest gem we've seen in this entire level. Oh, what's this? Oh, someone just killed a giant chicken. I would like a breast, please. I love chicken breasts. And no, I don't mean that to sound like I like a chicken's tits, but... It comes out that way, it comes out that way. Can you get out of the way, sir? All I'm doing is trying to kill the guy who's terrorizing your life. And all you do is get in my way, dude. Thanks for the help, but I think I would have worn him down in a minute. Yeah, sure, horse. Are you guys like cats or bears? With weird, t I think they're lions. 
think they're lions without the mane, but without Shermaine LeBrain. Burn! Can the gate open? So that chicken just got clobbered, I, I assume. Thank you for rescuing my town. As mayor, I award you with one of our famous giant chicken eggs. Oh, I guess they are cats, because his name is Leo. Anyways, we have Sanders. Colonel Sanders! Oh my god, I, I just got the reference. It's a chicken reference. Hey, he even does the chicken dance! Oh, that's too good. That's perfect. That was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen! <laughs> that was still hilarious, though. Now, we got an interesting concept that comes up quite a bit in this game, I believe. Four times in the entire game. And that is, it's a spiral part, so, yeah, we're gonna be using spiral all right. Now it's skateboarding. Hi, Spyro. I found this gladiator training arena, and it makes a pretty cool skate park. Care for a test of your boarding skills? Eh, yeah, sure. I bet you can't catch all 15 of the lizards running around here. Just come back if you want some boarding tips from the master. I can catch a lizard. So all you do is you have to flame them or hit them. But generally flame them. If you jump while at the top of one of these blue ramps, you'll actually just spin. If you don't click the jump button, then you won't do anything special. But yeah, Spyro's going to be skateboarding an awful lot in this game. I'm just collecting all the money. So we need the money. Well, you know, not to be greedy, but Spyro does need the money to complete the game. I don't know, this game I also find a lot more funny than the second one. The f second one is probably the least funny. It's just like insults like Shorty and... Nothing like over the top, you know? This game has some wicked craziness going on in it. Woohoo! Burp! And hopefully... Oh, God damn it! Oh. Hopefully we don't, like, uh, miss any of the gems in this level because... Can you just die already, man? God damn it. Yeah, and they'll go in their hole, in their hole if they get off your board, so... We have to come back to him. Sweet money. I didn't actually mean to go this way, but sure. Whatever gets me these lizards faster, right? Yeah, let's go back and get this fool. Looks like we also missed that gem. There we go, that's better. And then you also have a, another challenge like this, but if you fall off your board, you fail. And if you uh, run out of time, you fail. It's a lot harder. It's actually double like the difficulty of this challenge, even though this challenge itself is not that hard. And now we need that ramp to go up. God damn it. You know what? I'll just collect some of these gems while I'm right here. I need this Can you stop? Why do you keep doing that? God damn you, Spyro. The last two lizards are up here. Woohoo! There we go, we got those Andy, gems too. That was great. And while you were boarding, I found this in a lizard burrow. Well, thank you. Who is it? Emily, Emily wants to play. <laughs> all right. If you can catch all Yeah, without wiping out and without running out of the timeline. I believe you have 3 minutes or is it 2 minutes? 3 minutes. You have 3 minutes to save the world. Only got three minutes to save the world, Spyro. Can you do it? Let's get the annoying one first, since this one seems to be the annoying one. It's funny, this was never the annoying one for me in the past. This used to be, like, the easiest one for me to get. But then life happened. And life got difficult. God damn it. I'm gonna have to backtrack down here another time. Burnt. Burnt. Hey, Burnt Reynolds, get back here. I'm about to make you burnt, Reynolds. Bah, that was so bad. Yeah. At least you guys aren't as wussy as Kitty Kong. And his goddamn awful hitbox. God, for those who have watched that Let's Play, I feel sorry for you. Oh, no. Oh, jeez it. Oh, the music's looping. Woo. There we go. Ten lizards down, five to go. Let's go do the ones up here, then we gotta do the one down there still. 
Then we just have to collect all the gems around here. Wait, where is the other one? Oh, wait. There they are. I know where they are. Ah, poo nuggets! I'm sorry if this is a longer episode, like this is seriously recording to be two gigs here in a bit, but... Oh, he continued to run. But, yeah, this, this is not going the length that I wanted it to. Just because of, you know, some mess-ups. Now, don't run into the wall, Spyro. That would piss me off. It'd be like, at this point, just be like, FAILURE! Wait, what? Wait, where's the... where's the missing one? Oh, wait! I know who it is. Oh god, almost failed there. Because I forgot the ramp is up here. Oh my lord. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. And there we go! Done! Whoa, that was sweet! And look, there was another egg in the lizard burrow. Thank you. Who do we have this time? We have Daisy. Put your dukes on, Daisy. There we go. All six eggs. God damn! Get off the goddamn board. Great. Now we have a timer again because timers be everywhere. Timers are apparently the most important thing in the universe. Well, we only need six more gems. Oh, and I believe the last one is right here. Perfect. We actually got 100%. I don't even know why you were doing that challenge in the first place, Spyro. But come on, man. Sweet. 20 eggs and 1,100 gems. Looking pretty damn good. So anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next time for some more Spyro Year of the Dragon. Peace. Make sure you guys back at the homeworld.